Hey, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and also happy Valentine's Day everybody. Um, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to animate gradients in Adobe XD. Adobe XD doesn't originally have a feature which allows you to animate gradients, but I have found a really cool workaround and you can apply it with your name, you can apply it with, your, uh, with a level and see how the gradient just flows through. Isn't that just perfect? And also, uh, since today's Valentine's Day, I will also teach you guys how to animate gradients inside a heart. Isn't that super cool? Um, so without further ado, let's just get started. Off with this 1920 by 1080 artboard. And also we will insert our name here in plain text. Uh, this is Roboto and it's set to a thick black. 189 pixels um, it looks beautiful already but let's increase the font size a little bit and we'll place it here and the trick starts when we draw another shape so here I'll just draw a circle and um, I will select both the circle as well as the okay first of all forget that select the text and go to object say path and convert to path this will make sure that Puneet is now an actual shape or an object. So we will select both the circle as well as this font, which is now an object. And we will go and say add here. So now this, according to Adobe XD, these two things are the same shape now. So whatever gradient we give, uh, it will be applied to both of these. Uh, so if I put this point here and this point here, you can see how the gradient flows from one point to the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the gradient right about at the end of the font or the text. Uh, and um, let me just give this a little purple and the other end should be, could be any other color. I'm just gonna give it a light blue right now. And uh, I, I'll put the gradient, this point of the gradient closer so the, that the whole font actually changes its gradient. So now I'm just going to deselect these and I'm going to double click on this circle and I'm going to make this zero uh, pixels in width and height. Now you can barely see it. It's not visible on the screen. Uh, we will now duplicate this entire artboard and I will shift this, just this font, not the entire thing. Just uh, double click on it and I'm just going to shift it. Uh, to this point. See how the gradient, entire gradient animates uh, based on the position of the circle. Okay, so if I, uh, I'm just going to prototype this real quick. I'm going to go from here to this artboard and I'm going to say drag. Auto animate should always be set and you can set this timing or easing to anything you want. I'm just going to start the prototype and let's see how it works. See if I'm dragging, it's very smoothly uh, going into the other gradient which is basically the circles gradient now isn't that beautiful you can apply this to any shape in adobe xd uh, so for example i'll quickly draw a heart since it's a, a valentine's day i think it's very appropriate to draw a heart and actually animate its gradients so i'm just gonna select the web 1920 by 1080 pixel artboard again and I'm gonna quickly draw a heart. So I'm gonna create two rectangles. So I'm just gonna make one rectangle. I'm gonna flip this a little bit and I will just copy this over just like that and I'll flip this a little bit as well. Um, now I'll just shorten the height a little bit so it looks more like a heart. Um, yeah, that's about, that's about right, yeah, perfect. So I will select both of these and I will again combine these by saying add here and I will make this a like a pinkish red. Yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. And I'm going to remove the border. Now again, we will have to have another shape. It could be a, this time I'll just go with the rectangle. It could be anything basically. And if if you want to just curve the edges here for the heart, I'm just going to double click on this until I see the anchor points. I'm just gonna double click on the anchor points. That's a little trick for you guys. If you wanna um, curve any anchor point, just double click on it. 
perfect that that's uh, okay for now that that'll do for now and this rectangle or the square here i will combine both of these the square as well as the heart by saying add here and i'm going to fill to change it from solid color to linear gradient and uh let's go from um let's go from a complete red pinkish red to a complete uh transparent perfect and i'm just gonna shift this a little bit here so this is something like this perfect okay so now i'm gonna duplicate this artboard now uh I'm going to select this rectangle and just check out whether the gradient is fine or not. See how the, the gradient has just shifted down below. I'm just going to pull this up right here. A little bit maybe. Yeah, perfect. And I am going to now pull the rectangle to the extreme bottom. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you can pull it down even more if you want, but we're just going to leave it like that. And... Um, just gonna pull this down a little bit as well. I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna duplicate this again. And in this artboard, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this square right here at the bottom and I'm just gonna drag it to the top as such. See now how it's filled with gradient and I'm gonna prototype this on tap. It should animate. Perfect, tap, auto animate, ease in out, 0.6 seconds. And if I start prototyping this, see how the gradient just moves from bottom to the top. Um, I will be giving the XD file down in the description where I have designed this unique heart. This took me a little longer to design because it's, uh, it's quite perfect as you can see. And the gradient is also slightly different because I've given it an angle. So that was the trick in Adobe XD to get um, you know, a gradient to animate in Adobe XD. It, it's not possible right now with the current build, but I hope they'll work on it and I hope they'll give us a final product. You can work with this. Till I hope you really liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also click that bell icon while you do that. Uh, go ahead and like this video. And once again, happy Valentine's Day to all my subscribers and everybody who's been supporting me. Thank you. And I will see you guys with another video next week. Peace out.